have you ever wondered how far is too far in comedy? Humor, an age-old form of entertainment, is a fascinating concept. It's as diverse as the human race itself, varying from person to person and culture to culture. But what happens when laughter turns into gasps of shock or even outrage? We live in a world where comedians are often accused of crossing the line, of making jokes that are too crude, too cutting, or simply too controversial. Uh, this raises a crucial question. Where exactly is this line? How do we define the boundaries of uh, humor? It's a thin, blurry line, one that separates laughter from offense, comedy from controversy. It's a line that's constantly shifting uh, shaped by um, societal norms, uh, personal beliefs, and the ever-evolving landscape of comedy. So let's delve into this controversial world of comedy and explore some case studies. Let's try to understand when uh, humor in its pursuit of laughter goes a step too far. Um, our first case study is a, a comedian known for their satirical humor. Um, you know, they've made a career out of poking fun at uh, societal norms and political correctness, often using irony and exaggeration as their tools. But there came a point when their jokes sparked controversy. This comedian found themselves in hot water when one of their routines was deemed offensive. Uh, the joke in question was a satirical piece on a sensitive political issue. The backlash was swift and severe with critics accusing the comedian of, of insensitivity and disrespect. Social media platforms were ablaze with calls for apologies and cancellations. In response, the comedian stated that their intent was not to offend but to provoke thought and discussion. They argued that, um, that their joke was um, satirical commentary on the issue, not a mockery of it. They implored their critics to understand the difference between satire, um, you know, which aims to critique uh, through humor and outright disrespect. Analyzing this situation, uh, one might argue that the humor was indeed offensive. Um, however, others might see it as a misinterpretation of satire. Um, satire, by its very nature, is designed to challenge and provoke. It's meant to make us uncomf un 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 uncomfortable and force us to question our beliefs and perspectives, but when does it cross the line into offensiveness? Um, this case study um, highlights the fine line between satire and offense, a line that comedians often tread. It's a precarious balance and the comedian's success or failure in walking it can have far reaching consequences. Um, now, uh, let's turn our attention to a comedian who thrives on controversy. Um, picture this, a stand-up comedian um, with a knack for pushing boundaries takes the stage. The laughter roars um, as the comedian delivers punchline after punchline, each one more provocative than the last. Um, suddenly, uh, the laughter turns into gas. Uh, the comedian has just made a joke that's so controversial, it's left the audience in stunned silence. The public reaction was swift and severe. Um, you know, social media was ablaze with critiques of the com comedian's um, insensitivity, with many fans um, feeling that you know this time the comedian had crossed the line. Uh, the comedian, however, defended their actions, arguing that uh, the purpose of their humor was not to offend, but to provoke thought. They maintain that comedy as an art form should be free to explore any topic, no matter how controversial. And this situation sparked a wider debate about the nature of comedy. Was the comedian's joke truly offensive or was it a bold attempt to challenge societal norms? Some argued that the comedian was merely holding up a mirror to society using humor to expose its flaws. Others, however, felt that the joke was a careless exploitation of a sensitive issue serving only to hurt those affected by it. 
The comedian's controversial joke became a litmus test for what's acceptable in comedy. It highlighted the fine line that comedians tread between humor that provokes thought and humor that simply offends. Uh, this case study underscores the potential of comedy to provoke, but also its, its capacity to offend. Um, our final case study uh, involves a comedian who is all about the laughs. Picture this, a well-known comic um, celebrated for their quick wit and sharp tongue delivers a punchline that sends ripples across social media. Um, what the joke deemed offensive by some sparks a wave of public outcry. Overnight, the comedian finds themselves in the eye of a storm, their career hanging by a thread. This isn't a tale spun out of thin air. It's a real incident, a moment where a joke was tagged as crossing the line. The comedian issued an apology, their words laced with regret. They admitted they had gone too far, stating their intention was never to hurt, but to amuse. Yet, the question lingers, was it really a case of overstepping boundaries or was it just a bad joke? Humor is subjective. What makes one person guffaw might make another cringe. However, it's important to remember that comedians, like any other artists, are human. They err, they falter. Um, sometimes they push the envelope too far, not out of malice, but uh, in pursuit of that elusive, hearty, um, hearty laugh. Um, in this instance, the comedian accepted uh, their mistake, apologized, and promised to be more mindful, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, learning, growing, and improving. Uh, comedy isn't a license to hurt. It's a, a tool to bring joy to create a shared moment of laughter. This case study reminds us that even in pursuit of laughter, um, comedians can sometimes miss the mark. Um, so we say this all, also, we've seen um, how comedians can uh, sometimes be accused of going too far uh, from our discussions on the satirist, the provocateur, and the joker. Um, we've touched on the complexities of humor. We've delved into um, how comedy can push boundaries, challenge societal norms, and even provoke thought and discussion. But we've also seen how it can prompt controversy, spark outrage, and even cause harm. This is the comedy conundrum. The line between acceptable and unacceptable humor is often blurry and varies from person to person. What one person finds hilarious, another might find offensive. This subjectivity is a fundamental part of humor. Context as well plays a crucial role in comedy. A joke that's funny in one setting um, may fall flat or even be uh, inappropriate in another. Comedians um, navigate this tricky landscape, um, often pushing the envelope to get a laugh, but who gets to decide when a joke has crossed the line? Is it the comedian, the audience, um, society at large? Oh, in this conundrum, there's, there's no easy answer. Comedy, like all uh, art forms, is subjective. Um, it's a reflection of our culture, our values, and our individual perspectives. It's a dance on the tightrope of societal norms and um, personal sensibilities. Um, as we continue to laugh, let's also continue to question the boundaries of comedy. After all, humor is a powerful tool, but only when used um, responsibly or um, all...